Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny and this is the 2023 Christmas cookie recipe exchange. I think this is my third year in a row doing this collab. <clears throat> I love it. We get so many cookie ideas. Anyway, there are several channels participating. I will put the list in the description box below for you. Everybody that participates is going to show you their cookie recipe and then make sure that you have a printed version of it. I will put a link to my cookie recipe in the description box below for you as well. Today I'm going to be making a really easy cookie. It's a really easy peanut butter cookie and this is in bar cookie form. If you don't have a lot of time to make Christmas cookies, bar cookies are the fastest. And these are so delicious. In fact, this particular peanut butter cookie, um, or we call them nutcracker bars, are have always been a bar. They've never been a cookie. They've always been a bar. And we've made them for years since I was a little kid for Christmas. Um, my mom always made them. And when I grew up, I started making them every year for Christmas as well. They're so good. If you're a peanut butter lover or you have a peanut butter lover in your life, in the original recipe, my mom used a half a cup of butter flavored Crisco shortening. So you can do that. I changed it to a half a cup of butter. I like butter better. They do actually turn out the texture better with the Crisco because Crisco is pure fat. Butter does have some water in it and it makes them light and fluffy. So either way, I'm just a butter lover, so I use butter. I'll pull a chair up to my counter and let's get started. I've got one stick of butter in here, half a cup. I'm gonna put one and a half cups of brown sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, or measure with your heart, whatever you like. I'm also going to put in an eighth of a teaspoon of Portuguese salt. It's kind of flaky if you've not seen it. You get it from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna cream these together real good before adding the eggs. Okay, now that my butter and sugar have creamed together and they're nice and fluffy, I'm gonna turn this back on. I'm gonna dump in my two eggs one at a time. Two eggs. Let that mix in fully first. Okay, one and a half cups of flour, sorry about the dog. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. I put in about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, but we actually need a little bit more. We need a half a teaspoon in total. So there's the rest of my salt. And we're gonna put our half a cup of creamy peanut butter in here. Okay, so I put my half a cup of peanut butter in. Usually I mix this in uh, with the sugars before I put the flour in. I just, for some reason, forgot. Um, that is all there is to this cookie base. We're just gonna get this stirred up. And then get your nine by 13 out. Um, mine is a nonstick. This is from Rada. If you're interested, we have a, I have a Rada link in the description box below. Um, I love this. It's ridged, it's coated, nothing sticks to it. Um, I'm not gonna, grease it because nothing usually sticks. I've got butter in this cookie mix and peanut butter, both really fatty. Um, this should be fine. But if you have a regular stainless steel or you're using a cookie sheet, um, you can go up to a 10 by, a 15 by 10 um, cookie sheet for this to make them thinner. You may want to grease it if you're using that or use a Silpat. Okay, got it in my pan. Of course, my pan's sliding around because I've got it sitting on a trivet. No, I'm not wetting a dish towel just to put under my pan to spread this out. Okay, I'm gonna do this two-handed. Okay, this is all there is to this part of it. This is the cookie base. And then we're gonna do a thick, fluffy peanut butter frosting on top of this when it is done. I'm gonna take this and stick it in the oven at 350 degrees. Make sure you preheat your oven. If you use a 15 by 10 inch cookie sheet, it's gonna be about 
18 to 20 minutes. If you use a 9 by 13 pan like I did, these are going to be a little bit thicker. It might be 20 to 25 minutes. I'll start checking at 20 minutes to see if it's done. When it's golden, starting just starting to turn golden, you don't want it hard. You want it to still be fluffy. All right, so here is my peanut butter cookie base. I just pulled it out at tw the 20 minute mark. It's nice and golden. I'm gonna let this cool completely down before I do the frosting. Okay, I have two thirds cup of peanut butter on here, half, or I'm sorry, a quarter cup of butter. I put a half a stick in and I'm putting in four cups of confectioner's sugar and I'm gonna whip these together. Okay, so I started mixing this together and then I added a quarter cup of milk and it, this, this frosting gets so whippy. It's almost like peanut butter mousse. It's beautiful whipped frosting. So now I'm gonna take it and dump it onto the cookie. All right, so you just spread the frosting out again. It's a thick layer of peanut butter frosting. It's almost, it reminds me of like a peanut butter mousse. It's really fluffy. So yummy. Oh, I also put uh, a pinch of salt in the frosting. I like this one because it's kind of a mixture of the sweet and salty. Because peanut butter is not that sweet. Depending on the brand you use, I guess. Okay, last thing I'm gonna do is melt some chocolate to put over this. This is a half a cup of melted chocolate and I just kind of melt it and drizzle it over the top. You can put it in a piping bag if you want to get perfect drizzles. But after you get your chocolate drizzled on, pick your sprinkles. I've got a green and red Jimmy mix with snowflakes. And that is my Nutcracker cookie bar. Get one out. Robert needs dessert. Oh, yes, I do. And this is what the bar looks like on the inside. So yummy. Mmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Peanut buttery? Delicious! That's all there is to making the Nutcracker Bars. They are delicious and definitely a Christmas staple in this house every year and have been since I was a kid. I hope you enjoy the Christmas cookie recipe exchange collab and I hope you get a bunch of wonderful ideas. Keep in mind, this is an open collab. If you'd like to share your recipe, you can share your recipe in the comments below. Or if you're a content creator, make a Christmas cookie video, share your recipe tag me at Jenny's Scratch Made Kitchen and it, once I see the tag I will um, put you onto the playlist. This is my good old-fashioned Christmas cookie exchange party online version. Hope you enjoyed the video and the collab. If you did please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook and my blog and you can Find all my recipes on my blog at jennygoff.com, as, well, as well as this one. I will put the recipe link for my Nutcracker Bars in the description box below for you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.